Okay guys, so this big box from Chiriba came in today. As you can see, it's a little bit smashed up because it came all the way from Japan. But you can see right there it says Crane Game Chiriba. And that is the website if you are interested in playing. Now, up here is this little thing that tells you that it's from Japan. I'm going to break into this box. It's about six things, I think, in here. And I'll have another one coming, but it'll only be about, like, three things. So, this will be the biggest box, probably, that I will get. I will admit that I am addicted to this website. <laughs> So, um, highly don't recommend playing it or starting it if you are the type that gets addicted to things easily. Do not play this game. Just suggestion. But let's get started. Now, there is one thing in here I really, actually there's two things in here that I'm really looking forward to. And I will tell you those things when I get to them. And there's two in here that are going to look very similar to her, Nala. <laughs> And, uh, so she's waiting for those because I told her I won those for her. So let's get this open somehow. I'm trying to do this with one hand so you guys can tell that I'm, this is my first experience opening this box and that I did not do this beforehand. So my first reaction is your guys' first reaction. Alright, so... You could see the things in plastic bags. But first we'll start with this little small thing right here. And this is a chipmunk. I'm not going to take everything out of the bag because it will take way too long. But this is a little chipmunk. And he's really squishy and soft. He's really cute. <laughs> no, there's, there's, there's two doggies in there that look like you. But there's really nothing for you. Um, we'll go with this bit, big thing right here. This was a, a ping pong dropper. This took me a little bit to win, but not as bad as the next one that I really wanted. But this is a sandwich cushion. I uh, don't know what kind of sandwich technically this is. It's just like a mixture of stuff. But I just thought it was unique. And I can always use cushions. And this is like really... Sorry for the loud plastic noises, but this is really soft. So there's that. This one... This one was the one, and I'm going to have to take him out because you can't see how big he is. I'm going to open him up because this one, I wanted this thing so bad. This was another ping pong dropper. Now, beware of the ping pong droppers because you can either get really lucky, but it's like really rare. Most of the time, you're going to be spending points to win the thing. So, just a warning there. Uh, this took me literally at least 20 bucks to win, but... I think he's worth 20 bucks, but uh, this is what he looks like. He's nice and big, and uh, let's see, let's see how deep his mouth goes. You can go about wrist deep into his mouth, but it's like really, really cute, and I really, really wanted him. I love, like, I am obsessed with whale sharks, so when I saw this, they have a blue one and they have a pink one. I really wanted the pink one. But this one was close to being one at the time. Granted, it did take me like 20 bucks from that point on to win him. And again, you guys will see the, the replays of the winning play for all of these that I'll put in this video. So we got that. Uh, here is one of Nala's. As you can tell, it looks like Nala a little bit from the bag. You can't really see through this plastic too well. But Nala, look, it looks like you a little bit. Nala, does that look like you? Huh? Look, look, look at the eyebrows. Yeah, look at the eyebrows. That's the same. Close to it. And then this is another one that kind of looks like you minus the ears. This was, uh, actually this one was pretty easy to win because somebody left it. And it was kind of just hanging there on the poles and all I had to do was poke it. I think it took like two tries to win it for it to go through the poles. Uh, same, same with this one. Haven't been that lucky really since, but uh, now I see the other one. It looks like you look, look, look at the paws, look at the eyebrows, look at the paws, look at the eyebrows. Okay, champ, I'm sorry, I haven't found one that really looks like you that I can win yet. And this one, now this is a ping pong dropper that I got lucky on. I really, really wanted this, and this took maybe two or three tries, and I won it. And oh, I was so. <laughs> 
This like made my night when I want it. It's a Pikachu if you can't tell. Okay, so I got him out. And this is what he looks like. He just kind of like lays wherever you want to lay him at. And it just says he's a sleeping Pikachu. No, he is mine. My Pikachu. He's really, really soft. But he was also a ping pong dropper. So I want him on a ping pong dropper. This uh, little shark and the sandwich cushion I won from ping pong droppers. These were all basically like pushed through the bar wins. So let me know which one is your favorite. Now honestly, uh, it's really tough for me. I really look at this one. This one's cool because it's got a uh, it's got a Japanese Pokemon Pikachu tag on it. You can see the Japanese writing on there. That's awesome. That will probably never come off. I'm trying to see if there's anything on the inside without breaking the tag, but I guess you can't open it without doing that, so it'll just stay like that. So, so yeah, it's either, my favorite's either this Pikachu, or this Whale Shark, or this Nala. Nala, are you my favorite? Yes, yes, look, it's your puppies, look. It's your puppies. I told you I want ones that look like you. Look, it could be your puppy, too. Yep. Uh, my favorite, I would have to go with the Pikachu. Just because of how I won him, how it only took like two or three tries. And that was a ping pong dropper, and like I said, majority of the times those take a while. So he would be my favorite, but this one's a really close second. So let me know what is your favorite. If you guys play Tariba, let me know. Basically, if you don't know what Tariba is, it's an online claw machine that you play in Japan. And you basically control the claw machine from your computer or from your tablet or your phone. You control it through that. And it goes to Japan, and you play it that way. And if you win the prize, they ship it to you. And they will ship it for free every seven days. So you, if you're like me, you can pay for the shipping. But I just wait for the seven days, and then I get the shipping for free. But be warned that you will, sp <laughs> you will spend money. Um, this is not like claw machines that are in the U.S. This is different claw machine tactics. So I definitely recommend checking out other people playing, which... Uh, if you guys want me to do like a re review, I might do like a quick review on the website so you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is my first win and I did not get this one in this video because it was only one thing that I got shipped this time around and it was this little orca whale. So I wanted to include this clip in the video as well. And I thought I would just commentate over these next clips because there's going to be no sound or anything to them. So first off, I just wanted to... Thank everybody for watching this video. I know this is a different video than what I normally do, so I extremely appreciate your support. And sorry for the Yoshi text message sound going off in the background. Um, this one was one that I just poked with the claw, as you will see right here, and it knocked it down. Normally, you can't find these now. A lot of these, they're now putting in boxes, and it makes it a little bit harder to win. So they, they will still have like random things like that set up, but it's more rare now. This is one of the ping pong droppers. This one took me forever to win. This cushion though is really comfortable and I'm really enjoying it. It's like a really nice pillow to put like your laptop and stuff on when you're like sitting in the living room. And I got lucky and I picked up two balls and basically one of them ended up pushing the other one in. So that was that win. This next one this one I spent even more money on because I really wanted this whale shark and I'm in love with this whale shark. Um, basically all these balls that are piled up on the left side, I basically did all of that and you could tell I still didn't hit the one in the center until just now. So this one cost me probably about 30 bucks at the end of it, but I really enjoy that prize. And this next one, this one was a dog and technically I got lucky with it because my computer froze which happens a lot with Tariba and I just happened to get lucky and it stopped where it needed to stop and able for me to win it. As you can tell right there it took me longer to go back and that's because it was lagging really bad. So this one was just basically pure luck but I'll take it. So again, I want to thank everybody for watching. I think there is one or two more clips after this. There is two more clips after this. And uh, you can barely see this one. It's at the bottom right. That's the one that I won. He was basically the same thing where I pushed him down with the claw. 
as you will see right here. Barely, barely tapped that one and it went in. And this last one that's coming up will be the Pikachu win, which is my favorite win because I got really lucky with this one and uh, this was the first ping pong dropper win that I've ever won in my life, so it kind of holds like a special place in my heart. But again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, let me know what is your favorite win on here. There will be either one or two more videos on Tariba after this one, so if you're interested, be on the lookout for those as well. And just make sure you are compassionate to each and everyone around you, and I hope everybody has a great day.